What's going on Spartans? Welcome back to an epic episode. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to go win. Now what is go win? It is actually golems, wizards, and then of course wall breakers and archers. Now you bring six golems, you bring four wall breakers, four archers, and 12 wizards. Now it's just like go wipe. You drop down your you know, two golems on the edges there to draw attention from the guns, and then you drop the wizards to clean the outside. But instead of dropping the third golem dead center, you drop four golems dead center, wall break in, rage, drop the heroes, and then drop your clan castle and anything else you want to drop to get in there. And then once you're in, you deal with the clan castle either by letting your golem blow them up or you go ahead and let your lightning spell take care of them. Up to you. And then basically, what is this force best against? I know everyone's going to say, what can you attack with this force? Perfect place free spell, by the way. Let me just point that out real quick. This force is extremely good against... Any southern teaser or northern teaser that you face. A main reason being is it's not good at going through walls, but it's very good at being a meat shield and taking out inferno towers and, of course, holding all those defenses' powers. So getting into the center of the base and getting targeted by a lot is exactly what you want to have happen because it allows your queen to have free range to destroy the entire base without getting hit by much. Now, the king and queen are both a little bit low on health. Well, the king's actually fine right now, but he's about to be low on health. And the queen is hurting a little bit, but those golems are going to hold the rest of those defenses, including that expo and a couple archers over there. And these golemites on the right flank should be able to guard my queen while she takes care of the rest of this. Now, I'm pretty confident the easy, that was actually already an easy two star. We're at 51% now, so you got to love that. Definitely an epic force, guys. This was actually invented by a guy named Destroyer in my clan. He got to 4K plus trophies with this, and he's still climbing. So huge shout out to Destroyer in my clan. Love that kid. He is super epic at attacking, and he two stars and three stars with this all the time. Now, you can use this against other bases. It does not have to be a teaser base. It is just most effective at two-starring teaser bases. Now, I'm going to show a bunch more raids here where I two-star, one-star, and three-star bases, and they're not going to be all teasers. Some will, some won't. Hopefully it helps you out, guys. If you like this video, though, make sure you subscribe and like and comment below. Very important. That helps me out a lot, guys. We're already at 3,000 Dark Elixir, as you can see. And I'm just speeding it up here. Uh, obviously, the raid's over. But we are just going to let those guys fight it out. I always let my troops go until the last second. I don't know why. I just can't help myself. I just want to see if we can always get a little more. Now, I got 3,000 Dark, 169,000 Gold, 195,000 elixir and that 22 trophies as i said so pretty solid gotta love it let's get right into the next one though here's a huge amount of loot look at that 5k dark sit on the board 350,000 elixir and 350,000 gold now i'm gonna attack this base a little differently because there are no infernos so i don't need to bunch up my golems as much as i normally do with a teaser because you don't need to worry about multi-target infernos so now you can make a really wide range meat shield so i kind of spread out four golems on the left flank one on the right flank and i saved one to place further down the right flank when it comes time to drop them. Now we are getting into the base here, and I have my king down. He's gonna go take care of that other enemy king, and he is gonna kill him very easily there. Now the Teslas are doing some heavy heat to that one golem. However, we're gonna wall break in this right flank and allow our golem to get in there. Now we have two golems going right in one, two, three, and four all the way to the left side. So we're gonna jump a rate, or I'm sorry, a jump spell. God, a jump spell, a rage spell. What am I talking about? Drop a jump spell down and get these golems all the way in the center of this base because that's where you want them at. You want them to spread out nicely so that you can get all those defenses distracted. And normally, oh, hold up. The queen's getting destroyed. Uh, I'm not going to invis her. We're going to let her play it out. She is very much alive still. And I had confidence she could take out that Tesla. Now, we have cleared the town hall and the 50%. So it's already two stars. And this raid is going pretty well, actually. Already at the 73%. Can we get the three star? It looks like we might be able to. There is a lot to destroy in a short period of time, but it doesn't look like much can threaten my troops at this point. I still have wizards left. I now have archers due to the fact I invis my queen. I still have my king and his enrage. So I'm pretty confident this is going to be an easy three star here. Definitely a ton of loot to win. Can we get it all? Let's find out. Now, I am going to attack a base next that is completely alive and ready to go and is a Town Hall 10. It's not maxed out, but it is very high level. And let's see if we can 3-star it. But as you can see here, this is an easy, easy 3-star. My king and queen both survive. King with full health. Queen with basically nothing left, but an easy 100%. 5k dark. 
and 700k loot total. Plus, of course, that 20 trophies, which is what is important since I am actually pushing. Now, hopefully you're enjoying this and you're learning a lot because I do want this to be a helpful how-to on this new epic force. It is definitely, definitely what I think is probably the best force to use at high levels. Now, you do need to worry about the fact that when you are attacking with it, you are using 4,500 Dark Elixir approximately each attack. That is quite a bit of Dark Elixir, guys. Now, it's, it's nothing to like scuff at, but when you're in Champions or Masters, it's very easy to win Dark Elixir. And I've been winning about two to 6,000 Dark per attack on average. Of course, I win a little less sometimes when I'm going for higher trophies, uh, but you can easily win two to 6,000 every time you attack. Plus, then you get the 1,200 bonus just for winning and you never lose this force now this is a southern teaser guys and we've already destroyed 50 percent and got the town hall in seconds so my king did die but we have all our golems left basically and we do have my queen at high health under a rage spell so i'm very confident this is going to go very well i'm thinking maybe a three star it doesn't look like we have the time for it because the golems are so slow but i am very confident in this force and of course, with that queen alive still, it is good news for me. Now, she should have taken out that archer tower by now. Come on, hurry up, guys. Let's go. We don't got time for this. Rage spell down on the golems and wizards I have left. We do have one lightning spell left if we need to drop it. I'm saving that for the end, though. Uh, we do have 36 seconds left. And if we get through that wall on the top, it is over because that will open up three sections and allow for my wizards to spread in pretty good. And it looks like one wizard decided to go that route. So I'm okay with that. Only that one archer tower left, and it is going to be an easy three-star here, guys. This queen needs to hurry up, though, and get through the wall. She is finally through, and let's invis her and get some extra archers out there. Here it comes, 99%, and come on, let's go. Oh, my God, are they shooting walls right now? Just walk up and shoot that builder hut. That's ridiculous. All right, anyway, well, I don't know. Oh, my God. This is the most ridiculous thing ever. How long did it take to get through that one little area to get to that? Builder side. All right. Anyway, 2,300 dark, 22 more trophies, and another three-star on a Town Hall 10. Very nice. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that one. Now, let's end this on a good note with one more epic raid. And as you can see, as I always do, dropping the two golems far to the edges there, dropping the four on the bottom, throwing down the wall breakers, and as I said, you spread out those wizards, take out those outside buildings, raid spell into the center, and we do have a couple wizards, and I'm going to drop the lightning spell to help out because those wizards in the clan castle are absolutely wrecking my guys, and that is bad news bears for us. Unfortunately, most of our wizards went left, and our golems went right. That's super, super bad news. I don't like that at all, guys, uh, mostly because those multi-target infernos are really going to do some damage to them if I don't get all my golems to them quickly. So I'm going to freeze them, and one free spell takes care of both of those very, very easily. Now, my golems are just not doing what I need them to do, unfortunately. Uh, this is not going very well, to be honest. But even on a base, when things go wrong with this, it's actually pretty easy to recover. As you can see, 45%. Can we get the 50? It's gonna be. It's not going to be the best rate ever, guys. It might be close. 49%. It looks like we got it in the bag. I do have four archers left. I'm going to save those for the very, very last second. Let's just hope that these golems can get to 50 percent without much trouble i think they can i mean they only got to get one more hit here and it's over 50 percent there we go and i'm gonna wait just a couple more seconds drop down my archers on the bottom corner trying to get toward the town hall as you can see sorry i didn't actually show it but i did my here they are you can see the archers kind of shooting that elixir storage i'm kind of focusing on the golems because i want you to see these golemites explode and when they do they do actually kill the skeletons i believe i've seen it happen before i kind of want to see it happen now Boom, there they go, and they killed the skeletons. How funny is that? That's awesome. Now, I do have four archers down there, and they are shooting this elixir storage. So that's good. 53%. Unfortunately, they get a little too close to that wizard and get knocked out. But we did get nine trophies and 54%. So I didn't get the town hall. Kind of a poor rate on my part. I just was a little too impatient when dropping my troops. Um, but you can't always win. I mean, you can't always do perfect, but you can always win with this force. Anyway, slap a like, and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Peace.